If I told you a week ago Lincoln Riley was going to be the USC head coach, you would have said what? I said uh, it's possible, but it doesn't seem likely, but it's possible. I was pretty sure he wasn't going to LSU, but turns out maybe that was a Trojan horse, all that SEC, you know, LSU or Florida or wherever. Um, going to going to Southern Cal makes uh, some sense when you think about it. Uh, if a coach doesn't want to jump into the into the den of vipers that the SEC can be, um, if he wants to replicate what he had at Oklahoma, USC is a pretty good place to do it. That's a place he should go and could quickly dominate the conference. Yeah, I understand that. Where Oklahoma in the Big 12, you're kind of separated, and you go to the Pac-12, you have that opportunity to stay separated. You go into the SEC, you know, it, this ain't the Big 12 – how much do you think this is him running to USC or running away from the SEC? I think, well, I mean, I think it's the same. Um, if you ask me if, if Oklahoma hadn't joined the SEC or, or made the uh, intent to go to the SEC, would Lincoln Riley still be the coach? I think the answer is yes. Um, really? Yeah. I, I don't think he wanted to, to go to the SEC. Um, I think he'd been successful there, but the success level would have been different from what Oklahoma's accustomed to dominating the conference. You know, they lost Bedlam Saturday night that ended six straight years of winning the big 12. So um, that's, that's sort of the standard he set. That's the standard he expects. You're not going to do that in the sec. Alabama doesn't win six straight sec titles and they're Alabama. So uh, I think he can go to USC. You know, you, uh, the Pac-12 is sort of an open range. Yeah. Anybody that's ready to take over, it, it's it's there for the taking. And and somebody like Lincoln Riley could go to could go to LA and do just exactly that. 